<laughs> Before now, robots could only replace part of a human job, enough to make coffee or an omelet. But this is Digit, a robot its makers say is ready to do what human warehouse workers do. And it can lift about 35 pounds, you know, the, the robot weighs about what a person would weigh, it can reach about the size of what a person can reach. You know, we're really going for that kind of like OSHA regulations and requirements for the robot. Agility Robotics is funded in part by Amazon, which is investing a billion dollars in new industrial technologies. Amazon has already started testing Digit in its Seattle Robotics Research and Development Facility, potentially adding to the company's fleet of more than 750,000 robots. And the company's investors have big ambitions for them. The fact that it can enter places that were designed for humans um, and solve those challenges that exist without having to rebuild uh, the environment for automation. And it doesn't quit. And it doesn't quit. They're about $250,000, so they're not inexpensive. But, you know, over just a few years, they're worth it. As of 2022, Amazon employed about 36% of warehouse workers in the U.S., a workforce that often complains about the injury risk of working to get packages to customers in two days or less, according to OSHA. Amazon says the safety of its employees is its top priority. I just really feel this is Amazon's attempt to focus their attention away from those of us that have been injured and are fighting to get medical care and, and fair wages and safer working conditions. I wish they would spend their money in just making it a safer place to work for the rest of us, you know, those of us that need jobs and need a paycheck, you know, rather than coming up with technology that could push some of us out the door. Digit, company backers say, changes the game for any logistics company. This robot doesn't need to go home and see his family, uh, doesn't have need health care benefits, doesn't need retraining when you change the process and how it works, and you don't have to worry about turnover um, and, and injuries and those types of things. So considering all those things, $250,000 is sort of a bargain. It kind of pays for itself if you think of it as two or three shifts. But what does it mean for workers if a robot does the job? I don't think we can expect the free market to ensure that those workers are going to land in good quality jobs. Uh, we are going to need some kind of intervention. It is often necessary for government to intervene, particularly with respect to job training. Employers very rarely take on the responsibility for training workers who are not going to remain in that employer's workplace. Agility is also planning to open RoboFab, a soon-to-be 70,000-square-foot facility in Salem, Oregon, with the potential to pump out 10,000 bots a year. Right now, Digit is multi-purpose in that we come in and program the same robot with no changes to do a bunch of different workflows in a relatively constrained set of environments. But, you know, rapidly it's going to start doing more and more things in the world. NBC News tech correspondent Jake Ward joins me now on set. So, Jake... Fascinating, yeah. crazy, yep. maybe a little scary. I mean, it sounds like we're talking about not just using something to help humans do their jobs, but just replacing it entirely. Could yeah. this be a new normal on a, on a large scale? I mean, this is the thing, right? As a tech correspondent for years, I've had companies tell me, you know, well, this technology is for augmenting a human or making a human's job a little bit easier. In this case, it is truly, right, out and out there to replace a human worker. And there are times, you know, when you when you hear people say, well, we're going to replace, you know, let's say I've, I've visited, for instance, a recycling facility where they want to replace the workers there who have to work in a very loud, very dangerous, very smelly environment for minimum wage. That's a job where you could maybe argue that someone doesn't want that job. But Amazon warehouse workers, you know, that's one of the largest employers in America. People really go for that job. And so, you know, we're really, I think, at this sort of historic turning point where suddenly it's no longer the case of, of, of you know, when could technology replace a set of jobs, but this is truly something that's built to do that. So what would that mean for society? Yeah. And what conversation should we be having in a capitalist society where the industry trade is controlled by private owners for profit? What does this mean for the little guy? Uh, right, I mean, it is literally Economics 101 gets torn in half yeah. when suddenly you have to think about evaluating human beings and our worth mm -hmm. as something more than just our productivity, our ability to carry a 35-pound object and put it up on a shelf, right? That used to be how you got paid. Now, if another thing can do that, you don't get paid for that anymore. I don't know that we have an answer in Western mm -hmm. society for, for what that is. And that's why, of course, you have that former Biden labor advisor there saying government intervention may be necessary. He's talking about doing it for job training. But, you know, we may have to do it for just the whole equation of what you and I are worth in a society where robots can do the jobs for us. Fascinating stuff. So much to watch in the months and years to come.
Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.